I have no idea why I'm doing this, but uh, anyways, what's up YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. If you guys can't tell, it is currently snowing, but not just a light snow. This is like legit a snowstorm, but perfect snowball snow. If you guys know, you know. Perfect. Anyways, I figured this would be a good opportunity to take one of the cars out for a drive. I was thinking about taking the M3, which you guys can see is currently underneath the car cover. That's what basically happens to this car during times like this, but I think that would be irresponsible. So, what we're gonna do is take out, I can't even, look, look at this. Oh my God, can barely open up the fence. Probably gonna take out the X5. So this car is probably better suited for the snow. Honestly guys, I just wanna go for a drive. It's beautiful, I love the snow. Uh, I don't know about you guys, but you know, growing up in New York, one of my favorite memories was like snow days. Now, obviously I don't have that anymore because I'm a grown adult, but it's one of my favorite memories. So we're gonna go for a little drive. I'm gonna stop talking because I gotta get this camera indoors before it gets ruined from the snow. So we're gonna toss this inside. Oh, almost messed up. I'm gonna grab the thingamajiggity. We'll clean off the car. So of course guys, like an idiot, I left my little like snow cleaners one is in the trunk of the 3 Series, which got towed away. More on that in a future video. And the other one is in the trunk of the M3, which you guys saw is covered in snow and is also underneath the car cover. So I wasn't gonna go through the hassle of like getting it from the trunk of the M3. So instead, I did the old school way. I used my sleeves. I absolutely love the snow. Driving in the snow, probably not responsible. I actually did something like this when I first bought my X3. So I was like, you know, it's an SUV BMW. Um, but uh, I'm gonna try it again in the X5 because, I don't know, I feel like it should be better, right? It's heavier, so it should weigh down more into the ground, if that makes sense. Again, I wanna take the M3, but I know that would be stupid, and I'm probably gonna end up regretting it, especially with the front lip. Like, the snow is so tall and heavy that just the damage on the front lip alone is not worth it. Speaking of the snow being tall, I don't know if you guys know this, but this car actually has air suspension, so you can adjust it. So if we do this, move this out of the way so the camera can focus, we can actually adjust the height of the X5. You guys can see that. I don't know if it stays that way or if it only does it in the meantime. So before we get driving, guys, I just want to take a moment to thank today's video sponsor, and that's none other than Simply Carbon Fiber. If you guys don't know them, they make a whole bunch of cool carbon fiber stuff like wallets, phone cases, watches, even these little carbon fiber keychain hearts, which would make a perfect Valentine's gift. So right now they're having a Valentine's Day sale, which gets you 25% off everything. And for those little hearts, if you buy one, you get one free. So you can match with your significant other, your boyfriend, your girlfriend. You'll have a heart on your keychain, but I mean, it's carbon fiber. So come on, lightweight, right? But anyways, go check out their sale. You guys can get those hearts, buy one, get one free, or you can get something cool like this, their carbon fiber slim wallet, which has a money clip on the back and holds up to seven cards. This thing is super small and super lightweight, super sleek, unlike JD's wallet. If you guys know, you know. So go check out the links down below and let's get to our drive so I wanted to do this sooner rather than later before they clean out the streets because like look at that all right we're struggling a little bit here up this hill but the x5 is pushing through they definitely didn't clean this street yet we're gonna go on to some main streets and maybe some side streets Ooh, here's a big patch One of the dangerous spots is whenever you reach a curve like this. So always go slow because your car can start to shift and go straight when you want to actually turn. So we're going to take our time here down this little hill. This is where it gets a little sketchy, guys. All right, we're doing pretty okay right now. Honestly, the X5, it's impressing me. Let's see, did the, oh, the suspension actually stayed up. This light will actually signal to you where your suspension's at. So this is obviously the midpoint, that's the high point. So that's good. Let's do this, guys. Let's open up the sunroof, see what that looks like. I didn't clean the roof. Oh, yep, that's exactly what I was expecting. Just complete snow. It's cool. Anyways, this road is pretty good. So like here, we can probably pick up the speed a little bit. Yeah, we're getting good traction here. On that other road, it was a little more sketchy. But here I have, I'd have no issues driving on this road. There's the, the truck there. Forgot what they call them, snow, snow plows? Snow plows, right? I wanna get into an area that has snow like that. Like I just wanna drive into like a big patch of snow. 
Let's see if we can find something. Oh, maybe if we find a parking lot, that'll actually be good. Maybe we find a parking lot drive. Just, just like, we're not going to do donuts. <laughs> but if we just drive through the snow. Hey, man. That guy just threw a whole bunch of snow at my car. Oh, my God. By the way, big... Again? All right, guys. Chill, chill. My goodness. By the way, guys, a big reason why I got black interior in this X5 is, you know, pretty obvious. It's just, like, when you're dealing with snow and, like, muddy situations, because you guys can see, like, the snow here is pretty muddy. Just black is the best. We were looking at an X5 pretty seriously with ivory interior, but, you know, ultimately we just decided against that. We're just like, you know, for the M3 it's fine, but for our family car, not the best. Let's see if we can go through this snow. Ooh. That's pretty cool. Yeah, X5's handle it, man. Now, obviously, tires are a big part of this, but, like, this thing does have pretty new tires, which I'm sure helps. Be careful on the downhills. Look at all that snow. Not many cars on the road, probably for the best. I've driven the snow with a few cars before. Uh, with my 435, ironically, probably the most. And yeah, this obviously is just handling it the best. It definitely helps the fact that it's so high up and you have that adjustable suspension, which actually looks like it came back down. I don't know, is there a way to keep the suspension higher up? Anyways, guys, let me know what you think about the snow. Are you guys a fan, not a fan? I personally love it. Again, just great memories in the snow. Snow days, building snowmen, all jokes. I used to do that literally in college. But I'm not gonna lie, as I get older, I'm kind of just getting sick of the cold. That's the thing I just really don't like. Especially considering how much I love cars and working on cars. Look at that. You can see all the snow just flying off the trees. All right, I think we got some good... Oh, let's go here. All right. This should be... There we go. Now we're talking. I'm kind of tempted to do donuts, guys. I'm not going to lie. I'm tempted, but part of the problem is I don't know where the curbs are because obviously they might be buried in the snow. Let's see, maybe we just do a little, uh... Nope, I should probably turn off traction. Ooh, there it goes. <laughs> this is the most anticlimactic donut ever. If I really want to do a proper donut, I know I need to turn off traction, but that's not what we're here for. We're here to test out the snow. It feels good, man. Honestly, I like this X5. Anyways, I think we're gonna wrap it up here. You guys saw the snow. X5 did great. I really can't complain. Like, this is fantastic. I'll find the name of the tires that are on the car, but I know they're new tires, because when I bought the car, they did put new tires on for me. So that was really nice. But um, yeah, anyways, maybe next time we'll take the M3. But this snow is pretty bad. Just like the height alone would have destroyed the front lip. But anyways, that wraps up this video. So if you guys enjoyed it, make sure you drop it a like. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And yeah, with that said, this video is pretty much done and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.